Hi, everyone. Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. If we haven't met yet, I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. Today, we're looking at some fun and very useful changes Apple made to the lock screen in iOS 26. That's the screen you see before you unlock your iPhone. There are five big changes, and I'll show you how they work step by step. Let's get started. The first new feature is called the liquid glass clock. Apple gave the numbers on your clock a fresh look. Instead of solid numbers, you can choose this beautiful glass style that looks like it's made of water or crystal. So to try it out, you're going to need to customize the lock screen. So I'm on the lock screen right now. If I push and hold on an area of the lock screen, I should get the option to customize. So I'm going to choose customize at the bottom. And now you'll see I have some things highlighted here with boxes. I'm going to tap on the clock. And at the very bottom, you're going to see two choices. The default choice before was solid. Go ahead and choose glass. And once you do, you'll see the change. It becomes a little bit more transparent. You can change the color if you want to. You can change the look of the clock if you want to. So you can choose to do whatever you want. And once you're finished, we'll tap on the X and we'll go ahead and tap on done. It's simple and it makes your lock screen look more modern and elegant. So now when I get to this section, I just have to tap on the lock screen and it'll bring it to full screen. The second feature is widgets. Those little bits of information like weather, calendar, or battery percentage. In iOS 26, you can move them lower, closer to the bottom of your screen. Why is this helpful? Well, if you have smaller hands or you just don't feel like stretching with your thumb, this makes it easier to reach. Again, we need to get into the customization area. So we're on the lock screen. I'm going to push and hold towards the bottom of the lock screen so that I can into the customization area. I'll go ahead and I'll tap on customize. And now you'll see this widget box right underneath the clock. And if I just grab a hold of it with my finger, I can drag it now down to the bottom. Nice and easy, so you can make it a little bit easier for you to use. If you're unfamiliar about how to use the widgets or how to add widgets, I have a video on that, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. Third, Apple finally lets us make the clock bigger. This is a wonderful improvement for those of us who like large, easy to read numbers. When you're editing your lock screen, look for a handle in the corner of the clock. So I'll push and hold on the lock screen to come into the customization. I'll go ahead and I'll tap customize and you'll see this handle. You can drag it down to make the clock larger, the numbers will grow. Now, one note, if your wallpaper photo has a face or subject right at the top, the option may not appear, but with most photos, it works beautifully. Go ahead and give this a try. Feature number four is called spatial scenes. Apple now uses a little bit of smart technology to turn regular photos into 3D style wallpapers. That means when you move your phone, the picture gently shifts almost like it has depth. When you choose a wallpaper, Apple will suggest photos that work best, or you can pick one yourself and see if the toggle appears. So again, I've already chosen a photo, but I wanna show you how it works. I'm going to push and hold on the lock screen. I'll tap on customize. Your options will appear. 
this is the spatial option. So if I tap on it, you'll see that now you don't have that 3D look. If I tap on it again, and if I were to move my iPhone, and it's really hard for you to see it here, so I'm not even going to bother, but it kind of gives it a 3D look. If I tap here where the photo is, you can show photo in the library, or you can go ahead and choose another photo. The nice part, you don't need the newest iPhone for this. It works all the way back to iPhone 12. So if you have a recent phone, you can enjoy this feature. And finally, a fun one, animated album art. When you play music, you can tap the little square of album art on your lock screen. So I have the music app opened. To get to the lock screen, you want to swipe down from the middle of the top of the screen, just kind of swipe down to come into the lock screen in the notification center. And you'll see that the music is here in a little square. If I tap on the album art, I'm going to swipe down a little bit so that you can see it, it expands and even animates, making listening feel more immersive. Right now, it works best with Apple Music, but Apple says more apps like Spotify will get it too. Not every song has animations, but when it does, it's very cool. A little quick tip. So when you're done and you don't want to see the animation anymore, if I just tap on it, it goes back to the lock screen and you can see uh, the music app playing there. If I want the animation to come back, I just tap on the square and the animation will begin again. So if you want to get out of it, just tap anywhere where the animation is and it'll bring you back into the lock screen. A few helpful things to remember. Some options depend on the photo you're using. So if you don't see the bigger clock option, you're not seeing the handle uh, to drag the clock to bigger, or the spatial scene isn't available, try a different picture. So I'm in the Photos app. To find a uh, picture that works well with spatial scenes, you'll see this little option right underneath the three dots. If I tap on it, you'll see that it becomes a spatial photo. So all you have to do is just make sure to tap on that and that photo will be available for a spatial scene. After you update your, your uh, phone to iOS 26, your phone may run a little warm or the battery may dip for several days, that's normal. It's just finishing the setup. And don't worry if your music doesn't animate yet. More songs will support that option soon. So those are the big lock screen updates in iOS 26. The liquid glass clock, widgets you can move down, bigger clock numbers, 3D styled photos, and animated album art. I think the bigger clock and movable widgets will be very useful for seniors, but I'd love to hear what you think. Which of these features will you try first? Let me know in the comments. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.